Greetings. There comes a time in every man's life when his mouth is saturated to the limit with sweat from the hands and stops working as it should. Its will no longer obeys commands you give. There are two ways to solve the problem. One is fast, the other is reliable. Let's start with the fast one. This can work in an emergency, when you're out of time and the result is needed right now. Turn off the mouse, turn it upside down and just roll it over the surface. Take 30 seconds, maybe a little more. In the end, the wheel will work better. Sooner or later, they all start to work better. The catch with this method is that over time the problem will return, and that moment may come sooner than you would like. To solve this problem for a long time, you need to choose the second method. For this, we need some equipment. Let's check the list. Mouse, thin screwdriver, medical alcohol, bottle or tissue, knife or something flat, and our mitts. It is worth mentioning that if you have one of those badass mice with touch buttons, like from Microsoft, and you can't see the screws, then this video is most likely not for you. My regrets. All the other beggars, follow my lead. Let's start. Turn off the mouse and remove the battery. Next, you need to unscrew all the screws that you can find. Check all the holes, as these little bastards can hide even under these plastic things and the sticker. When all the screws are out, we begin to open the mouse. Use the knife for this. But open carefully, so as not to tear off the wires. Depending on the design of your mouse, the process may be harder or easier. We need to get to the wheel. Our goal is this little thing that's connected to the wheel. Encoder, as they call it. No need to remove the wheel. You just need to clean the encoder with medical alcohol. There may also be hair and other debris around the wheel. To remove them, you can use tweezers from your man's makeup bag. Wipe the encoder with alcohol. Use a Q-tip to take the alcohol. You will find a Q-tip in your makeup bag, next to the tweezers. Spin the wheel, so that the alcohol gets into all the cracks. You can use an alcohol tissue if you have one. Wipe the encoder with it. Feel free to squeeze drops of alcohol out of the tissue. Next, you need to wait until all the alcohol has evaporated. You can use the dry side of a Q-tip to speed up the process. And that's it. We're done. It remains only to assemble the mouse in reverse order. 
Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you want to receive more useful videos about different stuff. Later.